Hi, welcome back. We're going to look at standing waves by using a FET simulation called Waves on a String. The simplest case of a standing wave involves a string that is fixed on both ends, but we're going to look at the case where we're oscillating one end and the string is fixed on the other to illustrate the point of a standing wave. Now before we start, just a quick review. If I send a pulse towards a fixed end, the pulse will reflect off the fixed end on the opposite side. And this will continue on for quite some time until the wave actually damps out. Now for the simulation, I've set the damping to zero, so this would actually continue on forever. Now, we don't want to just send a single pulse, we want to send a train of waves down. So we're going to put it into oscillation mode, and it's going to allow us to adjust the frequency and the amplitude of the oscillation. So I'll get the thing oscillating, I'm going to drop my frequency way down, and my amplitude way down. Okay, I'm going to start this simulation at approximately a frequency of 4. Now 4, once again in the simulation, is meaningless. It just means 4% of the maximum. Let's see what happens when I start the wave. So you can see it arrives, it travels down from left to right, reflects off the end, and those reflected waves are interfering with the incoming waves. And if I watch this middle dot here in the center, it vibrates up and down, Now all of a sudden the line's flat. Nothing really consistent, though. And if I increase the frequency slightly to 8, all of a sudden I get this magic frequency that happens to match the resonant mode of that string. And we get what's called an antinode. You can see in the center here the wave is really starting to vibrate at a maximum now. That's called a standing wave. The ends would be considered nodes, and this middle piece would be an antinode, a loud spot if it was sound. Now this is called our fundamental frequency, and it turns out you can create standing waves that are called harmonics at whole number multiples of the fundamental. So what does that mean? Let me just hit pause for a second. If I restart the wave and put it up at, let's say, 10. Now 10 is not a whole number multiple of 8. I'll restart it, and you'll see that it kind of looks like it might be a standing wave for a second, but again, and then it goes into a weird looking pattern for a minute, it starts to cancel itself out. Nothing really consistent is happening there. But remember, my fundamental frequency was 8. So if I double it, double the frequency, I would half the wavelength. And all of a sudden, I should be able to fit two bumps in between those two posts. So I'm doubling the frequency to 16. I'm going to hit restart. Let's see if we can make a standing wave now. Now notice in the middle, it's kind of remaining roughly stationary. And all of a sudden, I've got two bumps. This is called the first harmonic of our wave. Got an antinode here, an antinode here, and a couple of nodes, sorry, three nodes, in fact, one in the middle and two on the ends. So I'll freeze it here. Antinode here, antinode here. And what we see is actually one full wave when we pause the simulation. So that's the first harmonic. And all I've done is I've gone from my fundamental frequency of 8, and I've added 8 hertz to get 16. So Adding another 8 hertz would give me 24. Let's see if I get another standing wave. Now keep in mind we can't do fractions up here. It can't go 16.5, so it's going to be rough and we might have to tweak it just a little. But let's see how close we are. So I'm going to crank this up to 24. Hit restart. And let's see if we can get three bumps now. And you can see we're quite close. So if I pause it right there. We've got a node, a node, a node, a node, one, two, three, four nodes, and three antinodes. So I've added another bump or another antinode into that pattern simply by increasing my frequency by another eight hertz. Now notice in this pattern there's one full wave and a half. So the distance hasn't changed between them, but now I have, now I'm squeezing one and a half waves in there. So every time I add another half wave, I can get another harmonic or another standing wave.